JD here with the Hot Department of Transportation in the Office of CAD Mapping Services, and this video is going to go over the Sheet Cells application. Uh, this was rewritten uh, to be a migration add-in, and it is um, fully integrated project-wise. Um, as you can see, I'm in a project-wise um, file, or file that's in project-wise. Um, and so I'm going to launch this app, and we'll kind of just run through how to use it. Um, so in the workflows, you want to go to the Ohio DOT workflow, and then under Sheets section, there's the OHDOT Sheet Cells. So when I click this, it's gonna gonna open two things up. Okay, it's going to open up um, a dialog for looking at our sheet cells, and then it's going to also take over the element selection um, dialog, and it's gonna make um, the place ODOT sheet tool active. So I'm gonna click this. And so you can see here's my ODOT sheets, and you can see here's my place active OHDOT sheet tool. Okay. So it's set up to be very similar to placing an active cell, um, but in this case, you're going to be placing the active ODOT sheet. Okay. So first, I'll go through this dialog, but just like all my other ones, you have a help, with the PDF doc, video, and then about, you can see the versioning. Okay, all right, so what this list right here is, is uh, a list of all of the ODOT sheets. Okay, so you have four columns, and you can, I'll, I'll get to what that is in a second. You have a category, or a sheet name, the actual cells, or cells that's used in the description. Okay, so um, the first category is manual configuration. Um, so these are just our standard, like, starting um, sheet cells and so the sheet name is the cell name if you notice that um, and then a description kind of gives you a little bit of, of what's in there so it's, it's size D which is just our normal size sheet border without title block two title lines with north arrow three title line one title line with north arrow yeah and all that that good stuff um, so that's manual, but then you notice we have generic sheets, bridge sheets, geotechnical sheets, right away sheets. So um, these have just been around for a long time. They're all built off of these base ones, um, but it's like cross sections uses border two cell and interior cross grid cell. Um, so you can see if the sheet has more than one cell, you can see that, that they are listed in this column. So you know basically what what's it's using to create that sheet. Um, the descriptions I haven't added in yet, but I, I will get there. Uh, that's just it's just reading a, a file to get all the data. So um, that will be there soon. Um, when I click on a row, I get a preview similar to like the cells dialog, right? So I get a preview of kind of what's what's going to look like. So if I show some with some interior ones, you can see. Okay, so I added a filter for the category. So if you just want to see generic sheets, you know, like the title sheet, you can do that. Okay, so that's the filters. So next um, is how do we actually place this? This is the window to see. Um, but we need to set an ODOT sheet as an active ODOT sheet in order to use this tool, right? Because if I come over and I look at it, active sheet is nothing. If I come look at my um, little info down here, it says place active ODOT sheet. That's the tool we're on. What's the action we need to do? We need to select an ODOT sheet, right? There's nothing selecting. So how do we do that? Uh, we simply double click on that sheet row, right? So if I say double click on this one, I'll just single click to show you a preview. Um, let's place one that has the, the interior, it has multiple cells, you see how that works. So I'm gonna double click, and you now see that my tool got updated, so it now says the active sheet is the one I clicked on. Um, and then if, I, if you happen to close that, um, this little button will open it back up, okay? Um, so you could close it after you have it active. So now if I look at what my next um, action would be, it says place data point to place sheet 
reset to cancel the tool. So if I, I'll click reset in a, in a little bit here, but so my options for placing it is first I want, might want to change the scale. Right now it's at one. Um, so I'm going to change that to 20. And you notice that dynamically it updates you know, to that right size. Um, so the next option is how do you want the rotation? Do you want to use your active angle? So that's your, your design files active angle, which you can easily set. Um, or do you want to use a view rotation? So in, right now they're going to be the same because I don't have a view rotation on. I don't have active angle set to anything. Um, but if you did rotate your view, um, you know, using the view rotation would keep your sheet to kind of go with your view rotation. Um, so those are the two options. And then there's also a place at zero, zero. So if I hit place at zero, zero, as I move my cursor around, you notice it's locked in at zero, zero. That's like similar to just locking uh, your X, Y value, if I want AccuDraw. Um, but so that's what that does. So I'll just leave it on. But now, just like any other tool, I'm still in the dynamics. Like it's just displaying. It's not actually written to the file yet. Because um, I haven't issued a data point right here. It says data point to place sheet or reset to cancel. So until I hit a data point, which is just a left click, it's not actually drawn to the model yet. The last thing I want to go over is this um, last section where you can actually fill out those proper sheet properties. So demo. Really. That way, when it places it, it'll actually fill those out. Okay, so I'm just going to data point, and I can data point anywhere since I have it locked in at zero, zero. Um, and it's going to go through and place those. All right, so now it reset the tool, so I'm I'm back to placing the, the, the sheet, um, just like any other tool works. Um, so I'm just going to reset click, it's going to cancel me out, put me on the element selection, or really it's going to put you on your default tool. Um, so we take a look. There it says demo. It says JD or J Jed. My initials there. Um, so that's the that's the basic gist of how how to use this um, sheet cells to place your your um, O dot sheets. Okay. Keep in mind, in order to use a sheet manager, you can only have one sheet per model. Uh, another thing I should mention is that if something goes wrong using the tool. Uh, it'll actually throw the error message into your message center. So, like for example, if you're not on a sheet model type and you try to place a sheet, it's not going to place a sheet and it's going to throw an error message saying that you're not on the sheet model type. Um, if anything else goes wrong, it'll it'll throw you in the error message, just like any other tool works. So it's just fully integrated into migration here, and it's just like any other tool. All right. Uh, if you have any problems or questions, please feel free to contact us. Um, but see you in the next video.